Hey everybody, it's Frank from Motivate. Welcome to my mess. So what we have here is a AV unit from a 2011 Murano, a navigation screen from a 2013 G37, these buttons from a 2007 G35, and this front panel from a 2007 G35. Now, this little board over here I made gives me kind of like a console or terminal access into the AV unit. It's not being used right now, um, but it is giving me feedback as I'm learning through trying to how to figure this stuff out. So, with that said, let's power up the unit. Here we can see it says infinity. That's good. And there we are on the radio. So the top left button here is to change AM, FM. And as we can see, it's not working. However, if I do this, and then I hit radio again, see we're on FM1, FM2, back to AM, and back to FM1 as well as if I go to, so it says preset one, I come over here, I hit two, we're now at preset two, preset three. Anyways, the point is these buttons are now working. A non-nav button is working with a navigation system as well as a non-nav panel. Not a big deal. I just thought it was kind of neat to show that. What is kind of nice is this next button right here. So what we're looking at is aux in. We now have the ability to bring in composite video into the G37 and or 370 AV unit and have it display on the screen. Now the resolution is not crazy high because it's composite video. So basically it's 640 by 480, but it's better than nothing. And just to prove to you, here is my device that is now broadcasting that on. And if I hit home, you can see it goes there, go back to photos and we're back there. So that is super cool in my opinion to have that on. So if I wanna be, well, let's come back here for a second, put in my secret password here, there we are. So we'll come back here. So let's say if we wanna be on maps, let me turn it sideways. That is a, uh, well, that's very high res, um, but that's not bad, that, that should be okay actually. So that's cool there. So we'll just put it back to this photo right there of my mess, and that's cool. We could also come down here. We have our music box and our disc, nothing special there, as well as the other stuff like settings and info. But this next button here, that I'm going to show you is really what I've been excited for. So let me hit it right now. And basically these are the GTR gauges that I can use to, well, I can use this to control it. So I can either hit the cursor buttons as you can see, or even turn the dial and it changes. So let's go back here for a second. So for right now, there's no data being shown, and that's why we've got the asterisks or the stars. Um, but actually, that's already been figured out. And every VHR owner would like an easy way to get oil pressure. So a year ago, I came up with a Bluetooth oil pressure sensor. Now, guess what? Look right here. Engine oil pressure. So I'll be able to go from my Bluetooth sensor server without pulling any wires between the engine and the interior, that part is Bluetooth. Inside the car in the interior, it's received on Bluetooth, and then it's gonna be sent out on CAN bus to drive this display here. So it's gonna be a super easy plug and play way, other than physically screwing in the oil pressure sensor, which there's nothing I can do but that, that's just something that you have to do, but that will be displayed here. Coolant temperatures on the CAN bus, engine oil temperatures on the CAN bus, transmission oil temperature. 
I also have a Bluetooth sensor for that, so if you have a manual transmission, we can populate that. For those with automatic transmissions, I do have a way of getting the automatic transmission of fluid, and I can display it there. For transmission oil pressure, I've got nothing for that, but what I could do is make that fuel pressure. Anyways, we'll just sort of go over here, and so yeah, a lot of, oops, sorry, hold on. I hit a wrong button with my finger by accident. There we are, we're back here. So if we want to add a gauge, we just simply push and touch, and then we get to pick what we want. We've got a nice long list here. So let's do fuel flow. And that's something that we can show right there. And I will do everything I can to have all of these data items work. Because here's what they are. Coolant temperature, oil temperature, engine oil pressure, transmission oil temperature, transmission oil pressure, boost, speed, fuel range, fuel flow, recent fuel economy, not too worried there, torque split. So for the all-wheel drive folks, you will know with a gauge how much is all-wheel drive versus rear-wheel drive, acceleration pedal, brake pedal, and that's really, actually, really what it is is the brake line pressure, but for the gauge, they put it into a percentage. I'd rather display the actual raw value because your braking may change depending upon your brake pad compound and how sticky your tires are. Um, steering wheel position, cornering G-force, no problem. Now, um, acceleration, braking G-force, the 370 and the G37 don't have a sensor for that. I am thinking of adding one because getting that may be nice to have and that way also total g-force will work and a clock and we can do a reset so no real big deal there anyways so just wanted to show you that we will soon have gtr gauges working on a g37 or a 370z and probably other nissan vehicles as well um, that have navigation because we need to have this high res display and we need to have the hard drive inside here because we do some changes to that to get all of this to work. But overall, it's just really exciting. It's just, it's been a lot of effort, a lot of worries and headaches. Um, effectively, this unit here, um, I've bricked three times and then spent days trying different things to bring it back. And I've got lucky, I've been able to bring it back. So. It's been uh, quite the progress, but the good news is going forward, I now know the three simple things that need to be done to enable all of this. And we'll come back here. We can go back to the radio, AM, FM. We can go back to aux in. Here's my picture there. We can have our music box or disc. Anyways, it's all working out quite well. So. That's an update for now. Um, my next steps is to finalize some CAN bus stuff. And then the next time I should give you an update, this box will be in my car and we're going to have live data here showing you how it all works. I'm looking forward to doing that. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.